hello everyone welcome back to the new video of easy tutorials today in this video you will see how to create a services section on website using html css and bootstrap as you can see on my computer screen here i have one layout and it is looking very nice you can see different services and it is very easy to create this layout using html css and bootstrap if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe it because you will get so many related videos on my channel so without wasting any time let's quickly start this tutorial you can see it is my html file and this one is my css file i have already connected this html file with css with this line of code next we need to add the bootstrap link for that we'll go to the google and search for bootstrap cdn simply open the first link and scroll down on this page you can see this css link just copy this one and come to the html file just duplicate this line of code and replace this one in href just paste the url that you have copied right now that's it next we'll come to the body area and here first we'll create one div I am writing one class name container it is a bootstrap class next we'll create one more div and class name i am writing services so in this class first i am writing one title so i am using h1 and the title is our services next we'll add one more text so i am using p tag and the text is subscribe easy tutorials youtube channel to watch more videos now we'll open the html file with google chrome so that you can see this text on this web page let's come back to the code and come to the css file first we'll write body and here we'll add background so background color will be black next i am writing color it is white it will be the text color after reloading the page you can see the black background and white color next we'll copy this class name services and add it into the css file and for this services i'll write margin top and let's add margin from bottom also Now you can see some space from top. After that we had to create different columns. For that first we'll create one row. So I'm writing div class and row. It is a bootstrap class and in this row we'll create three different columns. So I'm using div class column d4 because in bootstrap we have 12 grid options. So in the first column I'm using four grid. So I'm using column d4. So this will be the first column. Now we'll create one div in the first column and class name I am writing service box. Let's add one title here. So I am using S3 and the title is keyword research. Let's add one more text in P tag. Now you can see this text on this web page. Next we have to add some icons on this website for that we'll search font awesome cdn. Just open the first website and here you have to copy this css link. Just copy this one and come to the html file in the head section. Just duplicate this line and replace this value in href. Just paste this url that's it. Now you have to search the icon that you want to use on your web page. For that search for font or some icons on google open this website and here you can search any icon that you want to use on your web page so i'm searching list so here is the icon the third one i'm using just click on this one and from this website just copy this one line of code for this icon add it 
on your HTML file anywhere you want to add this. So I am adding this icon in this service box. Just remove this one that is not required and let's save these changes and refresh the web page. Now you can see this icon on this web page. Let's duplicate this entire column. So like that we have created three different column. Let me replace these icons also. So I'm writing user. If you don't know the icons, you can go and search on the website. I'm replacing the title also. It is competitor analysis. And the third title is SEO hacks. Now you can see three different column on this web page. Next, we'll copy this class name service box, add it into the CSS file. And for this one, first we'll write box shadow. Let's add one shadow here. And let's add some padding from all the sides and position will be relative now you can see the shadow around this content next we'll copy this one fa because we have to design this icons for this icon we'll write font size it will be 40 pixel margin bottom now you can see increased font for these icons let's copy this p because we have to write the css code for this one so i'll write text align justify now you can see these text are justified After these text will add one button. So here I'm using a href and here we'll add one icon in this button. So this will be arrow icon, arrow right. Let's add it in all the columns. Now you can see this arrow in all these three columns. Let's copy this A in the CSS file and for this one we'll write width 40 pixel and height also. Let's add border radius it will be 50% and display block text align center position absolute. Let's write bottom zero, right zero. So now you can see these icons at uh, bottom and right side of this service box. Let's move this one a little bit. So here we'll add bottom minus 20 pixel and right 20 pixel. Now it is coming at right place. Now we have to add some gradient color on some text. So for that we'll add a span everywhere where we want to add some gradient color. So first I'm writing it in the services. Similarly we'll add span everywhere where we want to change the color. After adding a span everywhere, just copy this one and come to the CSS file. So for this span, we'll write background, 
linear gradient to right and two different color next we'll write webkit background clip text color transparent so now you can see the gradient color for all these a small text let's copy this one and add it into the fa for this icon so now you can see the same color for this icon also now we'll add this color in background for that just remove this one and add it into the a so now you can see this background color for this button again i'm writing a dot fa for these icons i'm writing color it will be white and font size i'm writing 25 pixel let's add padding top 6 pixel so now you can see this white color icon over this button like this you can easily create this kind of services section on your website using html css and bootstrap i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to like this video and share this video to your friends on your social media profiles thank you so much for watching this video till the end